Green energy has a much longer story than you may think. Almost 1,000 years ago, in the city of Yaz, some buildings were designed cooling their inside without using any fuel or electricity. But how on earth is that possible? When you enter those buildings, you feel the relatively lower temperature than the surrounding harsh climate. And a pleasant wind blows smoothly on your face. They call these buildings wind catchers. Catches the wind. The, the thing is, the climate is so hot, but usually windy. One may have had this idea that what if the blowing wind had been cold rather than hot? We would have always been sitting on the coat having our tea at local restaurants. There were actually great restaurants there, but also great engineers. The engineers noticed that not all the winds there were hot and sometimes they were relatively cold. They found out that those cold winds come from some further water resources or trees. Suddenly, the idea of wind catchers came to their mind. They built wind catchers whose faces were exactly aimed at those plants. It was so simple, but worked. Worked trapping pleasant wind. Actually, it was the beginning of the generation of a new ancient technology. Afterward, they started developing the original idea. What if we supply the needed water and let the wind push the cold air into the house? They created a number of different versions of that idea. Some easily used a fountain in the way of wind entering the floor. Every time the wind blows, it pushes the cold air in, around the fountain into the house. But later prestigious versions creatively use the existing underground water channels of the city. The wind blows on the underground water and the pressure difference between the air inside and underground will guide the cool air into the building. So interesting and creative masterpiece. It is not only a masterpiece of engineering, but it is also of art. Artists render these structures so attractive that when you stare at it, you even forget questioning their first purpose. You may think that they are actually a part of building style. It has been counted 13 different styles of architecture in the city, and many believe that this is the evidence that could have been 13 different architects designing these buildings. 